the devil plays mind games. I love to talk trash. Like, I have an obsession with trash talk. I even like trash being talked at me. I do. I love it. I love it. Me and Pastor Darrison, we on the, you know, we trash talking all the time. Trash. It's my, my love language is trash talk. <laughs> trash talk. You know, don't come up and be all sweet like trash talk, man. I'm like, let's go, like trash talk. Man, I grew up playing, you know, ba basketball and football and, and, and baseball. I was the catcher and ba I'd trash talk the batter. I'd trash talk point guard and bat. I would trash talk, trash talk. I mean, I'd be dribbling the ball. I'd be taking my time. Somebody's guarding me, and I'd t I would trash talk. This is actual facts, true story. I would say, I'm about to take you left. I'm about to take you left. I'm about to take you left. You ready? You ready? You ready? I'm about to, and I'd take them left, and I'd score them, and I'd say, I just freaking told you what I was going to do, and you still couldn't do anything about it, right? I just laid out the plan. That's how good I am and how bad you are. Like, that's trash talk. Next low. Next time down the court, I'm coming down the court. I'm dribbling the ball. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to take you left. I just took you left. I'm going to take you left. And then I take him to the right. I said, never believe your enemy. Never believe. <laughs> never believe your enemy, man. This is what I'm saying. Trash talk. Why do I love to trash talk? Why do I like it? It's in their mind. Because... If I can get in your head, there's a good chance I can take you out of your game. And if I can defeat you before we even play, if I can defeat you before we play, the game is already over. Trash talk. Trash talk. See, if I can make you believe that I'm better than you, I already won. If I can make you believe you're worse than me, even if you're not, if I can just convince you that you are, if I can just get you to play with a little bit of doubt, if I can get you to play with just a little bit less confidence, this is what the enemy does to us, mind games, brain games, because he knows if he can trash talk you enough you might believe what he's saying, and he can beat you before he even plays you. Trash talk. Trash talk. The devil is an expert in trash talk. It's what he does. Think about all the ways the devil trash talks. Fear. He don't talk that fear. You should be afraid. You should be afraid. Oh, you should be afraid. You got that diagnosis? Oh, you should be really afraid. You should be afraid. You should be, how does he trash talk us? Oh, your marriage isn't gonna make it through this. No, nah, you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. You should be afraid. You know what? You should be really depressed. You should be discouraged. You should be discouraged. You should be discouraged. Let me try to discourage you. How does he trash talk us? Can you believe you did that? You should be ashamed of yourself. You better live in guilt. You better live in shame. How, how, how does he trash talk? Oh, somebody hurt your feelings? Oh, you better never forgive them. Never forgive them. You could never forgive that. That's in, that's this, that's just too, like, there's bad and then that's bad, bad. Like, that's unforgivable, bad. You should, and then what happens is you end up living a life of resentment. Trash talk. He tries to defeat you before he even plays you. Intimidation. Intimidation. Trash talk. Insecurity. Trash talk. Insecure, you're nobody. Who are you? You're nobody. You're nobody. You're nobody. You're a nobody. You're no good, a nobody. That's what the devil does. Trash talk. And what happens is, too often as men and women of God, we buy the lie of the enemy. And anytime you buy the lie, you will pay a cost. Trash talk. I like sitting close watching pro sports. It's a different deal. You know, if you're like in row 900 versus row one, it's a different deal. Because now you can hear them. Trash talk. I, I, I think it'd be cool. You, you, you know, have you ever watched the, the, 
when they mic up like a quarterback. And, and I just watched a real, a couple weeks ago, and there was a specific quarterback. He's trash talking the defense the whole time. I was a quarterback. I used to trash talk the defensive line. I would trash talk them. Like, we're going to run at the two hole right now. Y'all ready? Ready, ready. Like, we're coming. We're gonna, I'm going to trash talk because I'm trying to win the brain game. The brain game. I'm trying to win the brain game. I'm trying to produce doubt in the enemy. I'm trying to produce insecurity, a little bit of defeat before the game even gets going. Listen, the devil, the devil is the king of trash talk. He plays brain games. By the way, he's really good at it. He's been doing it a long time. The same devil that trash talks you is the same devil that trash talked Eve and said, go ahead, go ahead, you should take of that fruit. The same devil that trash talks you is the same devil that trash talked Job and put the attack on his life. The same devil that trash talks you is the same devil that trash talked Jesus and tempted him in the wilderness. The same, he is really good at trash talk. He has been playing brain games for a really long time. Listen, the greatest battle, the greatest fight, the greatest war that you will ever find yourself in is the battle of the mind. And thank God, Scripture is filled with tools and weapons on how to win in the battle of the mind. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also to watch the full sermon and stay up on all of our latest content, be sure to subscribe to our channel.